topsoil. Topsoil is keeping us alive, and we are destroying it. Topsoil is the only thing that separates us from being a dead rock floating in space to being a living planet. Topsoil is the difference between a dead skeleton and a living animal. Without topsoil, all we have is dead minerals, dead rock. Topsoil is the first step in animating life on land, in putting flesh to bones and jump-starting hearts. Topsoil is keeping us alive because bacteria that live in the topsoil are keeping us alive. Bacteria have always been keeping us alive. They lay the groundwork for all other life forms on Earth to exist. Our planet is primarily powered by the sun powering bacteria. Bacteria are the first wheel that started spinning with energy from the sun, lightning, and heat. A wheel that hasn't stopped spinning since the beginning of life, and a wheel that continues to keep all other living wheels on Earth going. Without them, we would be like any other planet we know of. Dead rock. Before civilization, every living being on land helped to create more topsoil over the course of their existence. They couldn't help it. From water bears to polar bears, mushrooms to tangerine trees, each organism, through its daily activities of eating and excreting, helped build the spongy life support system we call topsoil, out of lifeless minerals, water, and air. Everything fed the soil, and the soil fed everything, in a complicated dance of interdependence. Simply by being alive, an organism automatically helped create the means for other organisms to live. There was no option. Everyone was food for someone else during their whole life and after their death. If you were alive, whether you were a termite or a human being, you were a good thing for life on Earth. And the medium through which you accomplished this good work was topsoil. Topsoil kept everyone alive. Topsoil put all the pieces back together again, stitching dead rock, lifeless air, pure water, and dead bodies back into living flesh. This stuff is magic. And it's taken for granted. More than that, we are destroying it. How do we destroy it? Basically, if you are a part of civilization, you are probably destroying topsoil. The vast amount of energy required to keep this one-way dead-end street going used to be supplied by fire and slaves, but now is mostly supplied by oil and free-range slaves. How do you create topsoil? One, topsoil tends to accumulate on its own because all living things on land feed the soil. It takes active effort on our part to stop topsoil from forming, and even more effort to mine away the topsoil at an incredible rate. We spend most of our time either actively destroying topsoil or helping others destroy it. We are very good at destroying topsoil, but we are also fully capable of helping to create it. More life is better than less life, right? So how do we get more life to grow in a particular spot? If we want to shift destroyed land into healthy ecosystems that can meet the needs of a great number of people, there are methods to do this that are not out of line with what nature wants to do anyway. Every layer of the soil horizon should be full of roots, and every layer of the above ground horizon should be full of plant mass. To do this, you can plant 
plants with different growth patterns next to one another. For example, a tap-rooted plant next to a medium-rooted plant next to a shallow-rooted plant. This ensures minimal competition between plants for the same resources. And the less plants have to compete for what they need to survive, the healthier the plants should be. The same goes for the above ground portion of plants. Every layer of space should be utilized using a fungal layer on mulch, a ground cover layer, an herb layer, a shrub layer, understory trees, canopy trees, and vines, just like a forest. This way of gardening is called forest gardening. Forest gardening is a way to establish permanent plant systems that hold and build topsoil, grow larger every year, provide more food every year, and do not require yearly replanting and absolutely no tilling of the soil. 3. Growing plants that create topsoil. This is how topsoil is made in the forest. Our gardens should be designed like forests. They should not only feed us, but they should also feed the topsoil. If they don't feed the topsoil, the topsoil will disappear and the garden will die. And so will we. Types of plants. There are a few types of plants that are critical for creating healthy topsoil. Plants that fix nitrogen are actually plants that host nitrogen-fixing bacteria in nodules in their roots. The bacteria take nitrogen from the air and turn it into a form that plants can use. In return, the plant feeds the bacteria sugars and other substances it has created, which is another magic trick. Plants use energy from the sun to combine carbon from carbon dioxide in the air and hydrogen from water into carbohydrates, into plant flesh. So the more plants you have, the more organic matter you can make. Plants help build topsoil in two ways. One way is by shedding leaves and creating mulch. In other ways, by shedding roots. This process takes carbon out of the air and locks it up into the soil. Plants with deep roots are necessary to draw up minerals from deep in the soil, pulling them up to a level that other plants are able to utilize. Plants that cover the soil help to hold the soil in place so that it doesn't erode away with wind and rain. They also shade the soil keeping it moist and preventing drastic temperature shifts that might kill life in the soil. These four types of plants have specific benefits for the soil, helping wed the rock with the air and water to form life. These types of plants should be mixed throughout the forest garden for the primary purpose of feeding the soil. Feed the soil a diversity of food in order to ensure that life in the soil is getting all the nutrients it requires. This ensures that you get all the nutrients you require when you eat plants and animals grown in the soil. And whenever you take food from the forest garden, remember to give back a gift of food for the topsoil. So that's full circle. We feed the topsoil and the topsoil feeds us. The only energy required to keep the circle going is sunlight. There is no waste. There is no importation of stolen resources. It's how things have been done since the beginning of time. The sun spins the wheel of life that creates more life. Like magic. Out of rock dust, water and air. Soil stitches ourselves together. Take care of the soil and it will take care of you.